Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe and you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Photoshop Cafe. So just recently Adobe made some huge announcements around Adobe stock and we're going to have a look and see what's new right now. There's three main areas we're going to look at. There's uh, new partnerships. We're going to be looking at using deep learning or Adobe Sensei for searching and finding images much easier. And then we're going to look at the new integration with Microsoft PowerPoint. All right, so this is some cool stuff. So first of all, let's talk about the new partnerships, which bring millions of new assets to Adobe stock. Okay, so first one is if we go under the premium collection here, they've just added all the images from Stocksy. So you can now go in here and you can find all the high quality images here from Stocksy. Some really cool stuff in there. And then for people looking for more kind of sports editorial and stuff like that, if we go into the editorial, there's two new partnerships. One is with USA Today Sports, and all those images are available or are coming very soon, and available right now, all the images from Eroders. So if you wanna find things on sports, current events, celebrities, all these things, you can, as you can see here, all the current event photos are now available for licensing. So let's have a look, you know, maybe we could look at a celebrity. Let's look up Taylor Swift. And see what comes up yep and here we go there's images of taylor swift that you can actually grab these and use them in your work now you can license these images all right so that's pretty exciting all right let's go on to more of the uh, searching side so we're just going to go back to the adobe stock homepage, and maybe we're going to do something for like boats all right so we just typed in the word boats and here we've got some results now, using a technology called Adobe Sensei, which is basically taking all the years of uh, computer science that Adobe has had, and it's applying it to analyzing images, looking at them, and being able to tell what's in the images and do different things. So one of the new things here is depth of field. So right now we're looking at the default, but if we pull this all the way up, this is going to be the images with a shallower depth of field. Look at that. So you can see that where the foregrounds and focus more kind of bokeh in the background. So if you want to isolate the element using the depth of field, pull that all the way up and notice there's different levels that you can do it at here. So if you want everything in focus, pull all the way down and we're going to get infinite depth of field. So that's kind of cool. Let me pull that all the way up. We're going to go for a shallow depth of field. One of the other things that's really neat is vivid color. So we can actually, you know, we're just on average right now, but if we push it up, we can go for very vibrant, saturated colors. See that? And you're going to see a lot more color. But sometimes, you know, if you're a designer and you're working, you want to kind of put type in there. Sometimes that's a little bit much and you want to have a lower contrast and maybe you want more muted colors. And if you want to do that, we can pull it all the way to the left. And now it's going to search through the more muted colors or the uh, less saturated and different types of colors. So you can see this is going to bring up our black and whites and our monotone, kind of little more moody kind of images. And so maybe, you know, what you're looking for is something like this. And you want to put some type over it. Um, it's going to work really well. So you can use that. All right. So here we are inside of Microsoft PowerPoint and we want to add Adobe stock to here. So instead of using clip art, we can use some nice quality photographs. So to add Adobe stock to PowerPoint, what you're going to do is open PowerPoint, make sure it's updated to the latest version, then go under insert add-ins store. Then we can find Adobe stock or just type it in here. And we see it there. Click on Add. Then after a moment, you'll see it'll be loaded in here inside PowerPoint. We just click, simply click here, and this is going to open the Adobe Stock panel. So here we are. So one of the really powerful things about having the Adobe Stock panel right here in PowerPoint is the ability to search and find different photographs. We could just type in a keyword, which I'm going to do in a second. But first of all, let me show you a really cool feature. It's visual search. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to search based on images. So here's a photograph that I shot recently. I'm going to use this to find something similar because maybe it's an image you found somewhere, but you don't necessarily have the rights to it and you want to find something similar on Adobe Stock that you can use. So let's just go into PowerPoint here, and then we're just going to click on this little icon, and then we're just going to click on the browse. We could drag and drop the image in there if we wanted to. That's another way of doing it. And if you remember what that image looked like, look at this. Here's a bunch of similar images, 
and if we found something that we wanted to use you know like maybe this one here we can just drag it in and we can start to use that so how good is this well here's a little experiment I did here is I just sketched in a few seconds a little glass here with a drinking straw on it let's see how good visual search is let's just click the little camera icon again let's browse and let's find that just basic little sketch that I did that's it right there so we're gonna grab this and let it search based on that and look at that it was able to bring up glasses with straws and different things and water going in there so you can see that it was able to actually take that illustration and be able to find a photograph that was similar to that well why is that important because maybe you have an art director that's got a sketch or something like that you know which is quite common for hey you know here's something we've sketched or we've got some clip art we'd like to look at something as a photograph that kind of looks like this and then we can emulate it very quickly by finding it and now you could search for different things tractors my tractors I don't know I just <laughs> thought of it so you know maybe you could get a tractor and you could drag it in here and you can start to play around with it inside of PowerPoint let's go back to Adobe stock and right now notice that I'm able to search all of these without even having an Adobe stock account if you do have an account when you do you just click sign in So once I'm signed in, you can see there's my account right there. And, uh, you know, I can access these images and now I can preview them or I can click here. If I want to license them, sure, I'm going to license this tractor image right now. And then it drops the high res version of the licensed image right there into PowerPoint. So let me just get rid of the old one and we could put that here. Let's make it fit the slide. I'm just going to choose a range and I'm just going to send this one to the back. And then there's my title over the top. And as you can see there, now it's very simple to take all the Adobe stock assets and be able to use them right here inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to find that super useful. So if you want to be part of this fun, I'm going to add a link underneath of where you can contribute to Adobe Stock and you can upload your photos and illustrations and sell them. And of course, you can also get started with 10 free images. Check out those links underneath. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did and you want to get a new tutorial every week, you won't miss it. Hit that subscribe button right now. Become part of the cafe crew. Drop a comment. Let's get a discussion going. Don't forget, pound that like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.